Only on News 5 at 430, we're taking you on the road for our latest adventure with Alan Rose. And Allison, this week we drove into the mountains of Summit County to explore hiking on a whole new level. Check it out. Since moving here in 2019, snowshoeing is something that I've always wanted to try. The allure of hiking through the wilderness, snowshoes on my feet, the Rocky Mountains all around me sounds magical. Snowshoeing is great because it's available and accessible to a large number of people, a wide range of ages, skill levels, fitness levels, which is a big thing up here with our altitude. Abe Packars is the founder and owner of Colorado Adventure Guide. He sets us up with Tanner Thompson for our snowshoe tour along the Salt Lake Trail. It's one of several hiking trails that can be found within walking distance of their Silverthorn office. Our two hour tour is a nice introduction to the sport. This is that friendly middle ground. Hackar says that for vacationers, it can be a nice alternative to spending all of your time on the slopes. It's great for families. We have young kids who come all the time. We've even had groups pull uh, toddlers or uh, kind of infants in sleds. We're treated to a near picture perfect day on our visit with bright sunshine and firmly packed snow. This makes navigating the trail system a little less challenging. For fun, Thompson has us trek through some powder. That'll get you gassed much more quickly. A little fresh pow pow yeah. on snowshoes. Back on firmer ground. When in Rome, right? <laughs> After spending some energy on my cartwheel, we climbed several hundred vertical feet, soaking up the scenery and meeting new friends along the way. How is it out on the trail today? Beautiful, gorgeous. We made it to the halfway point of our snowshoeing adventure and check out this amazing view of Armageddon Peak. At an elevation of more than 9,300 feet above sea level, a hike back down is much less taxing. This gives us the chance to relax and enjoy the peaceful journey ahead of us before driving back to the springs. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> And it really was nice. Now, in addition to snowshoeing, Packers tells me that Colorado Adventure Guides offers a wide variety of winter and summer activities, such as ice climbing, backcountry skiing, and mountain biking. And you can also rent the equipment through them and plan your own high country adventure. For more information, you can visit our website, KOAA. And the great thing, like you said, is it really is accessible to so many people. I mean, I think of someone like myself, I mean, like skiing, snowboarding, that's off the list, but I mean, snowshoeing, if, if you like hiking, just put on some shoes and uh, there you, you go. You know, I think so. I know the knee injury holds you back from right. some of the high octane sports, but this, <laughs> especially if the snow is packed, it really wasn't much different than hiking. Yeah, not yeah. too bad. All right, Alan, thank you. We'll be